So we had this 38 year old gentleman presented to us with severe headache, vomiting, decreased vision, inability to walk or even stand for the past five to six days. And uh, obviously uh, when we see this scan, uh, we see that there is an obvious large space occupying lesion uh, in the posterior fossa which also is causing uh, obstructive hydrocephalus. So obviously when you look at this scan, your first impression would be it is a cerebellar convexity meningioma, right? So there's nothing wrong in it. But uh, there are two catch points here. Uh, one is that the patient had a history of undergoing an operation to remove a tumor from the pineal region. And the biopsy of that tumor was uh, hemangioparasitoma. And even this scan, if you look at it very carefully, look at this T2 sequence. So what you see is you're seeing a lot of flow voids inside. You're seeing uh, some big, big arteries entering this tumor, which basically tells us that this is a very, very vascular tumor. So with these two points, that is uh, the history of him being operated for a hemangioparasitoma and this tumor uh, on the scan looking very, very vascular. Obviously, we need to keep in mind uh, for it to be a possible hemangioparasitoma than meningioma. Well, according to the latest classification of hemangioparasitoma, word is no more used and instead it is, it is called as SFT or solitary fibrous tumor. Uh, but hemangioparasitoma sounds better, so let's stick to that word. Uh, considering the similarities, both are dural based lesions, hence the location of meningioma and hemangioparasitoma are usually the same while the meningioma arises from the arachnoid capsules hemangioparasitoma arises from the pericytes around the blood vessels and obviously meningioma can also be vascular there is no denying that but hemangioparasitomas tend to be even more vascular compared to meningiomas and once removed if the meningioma is of lower grade the chances of recurrence is less while chances of recurrence is very high for a hemangioparasitoma and though rare hemangioparasitomas can metastasize to the organs outside brain as well like lungs and river but it's yes extremely rare uh, well coming back to this case so we have this gentleman with this very large vascular tumor causing significant obstructive hydrocephalus so what would you do the treatment there is absolutely no ambiguity in it this tumor has to be removed so we planned for the operation and uh, to make the brain more relaxed so we put an EVD. we did not do a v patient beforehand because uh, i believe that uh, once the tumor is completely excised uh, it's it's uh, very likely that the CSF pathway will open up and the patient will no more need a VP shunt. However, it was explained to the patient's relatives that in case if, it, if the hydrocephalus does not resolve, the patient may need a VP shunt at a later date. So during the operation, we put in an EVD and a very important thing uh, in these kind of uh, situations is once you put in an EVD, do not drain a lot of CSF because with, with so severe mass effect in the posterior fossa, if you suddenly decompress the ventricles, there is a possibility of patient having reverse herniation. So put in an EVD and keep it clamped. So put in an EVD, keep it clamped, turn the patient, do a large wide craniotomy and once the bone flap is removed, only then open the EVD to drain some CSF. Otherwise, there is a definite risk of sudden river herniation and uh, it may be uh, detrimental to patient's life. So, as expected, it was a very vascular tumor. To begin with, uh, you need to devascularize the tumor right from the dura itself. Coagulate the dura completely and then try to coagulate all the blood vessels which are entering into the tumor. For once, it even appeared like a hemangioblastoma. It was the the color and uh, the vascularity looked so it, it it looked almost impossible to enter the tumor so it looked like a hemangioblastoma but then once almost 60 70 percent of it was uh, coagulated it was possible to enter the tumor and uh, the tumor was uh, removed completely so this here you can see the post-op ct scan which shows uh, evd in place and uh, uh, 
a very good op cavity with complete removal of the tumor patient is doing fine so once we get a confirmation that the tumor is hemangioparasitoma then uh, we will consider further treatment options the patient most of the time requires uh, a radiotherapy to prevent the recurrence of the tumor and uh, there are some newer modes of treatment which have been tried but they are not well established like uh, bevacizumab uh, but we will not consider it because uh, in this location it is a primary tumor in case of a recurrence maybe probably those uh, things may need to be considered